okay what's up guys so i'm back again with another video on newton's laws of motion and i'm going to be treating another question from a past exam question paper and um, let's dive right into it as you can see here they're saying a 5 kg block resting on a rough horizontal table is connected to a light inextensible string passing over a light frictionless pulley to another block of mass 2 kg the 2 kg block hangs as shown in the diagram below so all the information is actually written there and then they say the force of 60 newtons is applied to the 5 kg block at an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal causing the block to accelerate to the left so the block is going to accelerate in this direction right which means we have a net force to the left the question continues the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 5 kg block and the surface of the table is 0 0.5. Ignore the effects of air friction. So we have the coefficient of friction between the 5 kg block and the surface. And then the first question is saying, draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 5 kg block. And you can see it's 5 marks again. That means we are supposed to be uh, drawing 5 forces. As usual, we're just going to quickly draw the forces on the diagram and then we transfer it to our diagram on the answer script. So this is question 3.1. On our diagram, you can see we're going to have the normal force as usual. And then we're going to have our weight and we're going to have tension in the string. And of course, the 60 newtons is there and these forces are one two three four which means one still missing and since there is going to be friction here and the object is going to move to the left that means there is also a frictional force in that direction fk so now there are five right okay so we transfer to our diagram we represent the 5 kg block with a dot and we're going to have our normal force our weight tension frictional force and of course our applied force and our angle here is exactly 10 degrees right so this will be our free body diagram okay now uh 3.2 so they're saying that we should calculate the magnitude of the vertical component of the 16 newton force and the horizontal component so that means um if this is our 60 newtons then we can simply resolve it into y which will give us f a x f a y and f a x and this angle here is still 10 degrees so you can see f a y we can bring it this side it will be like this then this would be 90 degrees so this would be f a y same thing so i can remove this one now using this triangle to calculate the components we are going to use so tor so let's calculate the first one three point one okay so we want the vertical component which is the y one so you can see if we are dealing with the vertical component then that means it's going to be opposite and hypotenuse which is sine so the sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse it's gonna be sine 10 degrees is equal to opposite or opposite here our opposite here is the F A Y over the hypotenuse, which is 60. If we rearrange this, F A Y will be equal to 60 sine 10 degrees. This gives us 10.42 newtons. That's our 3.2. Okay, moving on to this side. 
again using our triangle here we can see that it's going to be adjacent and hypotenuse which is cos so it's going to be the cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so it's cos 10 is equal to adjacent that's f a x over hypotenuse that's 60 so this means that f a x is equal to 60 cos 10 degrees that will give us 59.09 newtons is our final answer okay great now let's move on to the next question question 3.3 state newton's second law of motion in words so i'm not going to write this one down uh the newton's second law of motion in words states that if an object experiences a net force or resultant force then it's going to accelerate in the direction of the net force with an acceleration that is directly proportional to the net force and evenly proportional to the mass now let's move on to question 3.4 they say calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the 5 kg block so to calculate the magnitude of the normal force as you can see on this diagram here we do have a force that is at an angle hence that simply means Means that our normal force here again is not going to be equal to the weight because we do have another force that is actually lifting up the 5 kg block so in this case you must understand like i'm saying the normal force is not equal to the weight but rather the normal force is going to be 3.4 the normal force is actually going to be equal to the weight minus f a y because actually when you resolve this into the y axis it's actually going to be the normal force plus f a y will be equal to the weight that's how actually it's gonna be because it's going to be this f a being resolved into f a x and f a y and in that case this is no longer there and we're left with this two so you can see now this two are going to actually combine to be equal to the weight hence our equation there okay great so now let's actually calculate using this first year this formula so our normal force is going to be equal to the weight is going to be mg and minus f a y remember we calculated f a y which is this one it's actually 10.42 so our normal force is going to be equal to the mass is 5 times 9.8 minus 10.42 which is going to be equal to 38 Point five eight newtons that is our normal force great let's move on to the next question so the last question which have seven marks is saying calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string connecting the two blocks great so the first thing that you should take note of is number one we have been given a clue here usually when they ask you to state a certain law that means that law is the one that you're going to apply down there however it's 99 percent chances so now in that case what you should also know is that we do have a net force in this direction that's why the object is going to accelerate in that direction so that's the information we're going to use and as for the f a y is not going to be involved in the motion of the object hence we are going to ignore that same with the weight is not also going to be involved in the motion of the object and here we must also have the forces acting on the 2 kg block which are the weight and the tensional force and remember we also have friction here and we do have the tensional force in that direction too and remember this tension and this tension are equal so now for us to actually calculate for the tension in this case we have to solve this tension and acceleration simultaneously and we have to formulate the equations using the newton's second law of motion so when you have two connected bodies and there is acceleration and we're supposed to apply the newton's laws of motion and we have two unknowns the acceleration and the tension then that means we actually have to 
solve the problem simultaneously which is what we are going to do now so the first thing we draw our free body diagrams so our free body diagrams um, we're gonna redraw the one for the 5 kg block which was like this the 5 kg and then in this case I'm not going to put the 60 newtons I'm going to put the F A X rather so we actually have F A X here and then I'm just going to put those forces that are involved in motion like I said F A Y and the normal force and the weight are not going to be involved in the motion of the object so it's going to be F A X and it's going to be the frictional force and then it's going to be the tensional force so in this case these are the only three forces on the 5 kg block that are going to be involved in the motion and then on the 2 kg block I'm going to read to draw also the free body diagram and it's going to be like this we have our weight and the tensional force up there which we say these two are equal and then after this we can actually formulate our equations using the second law so f net here is equal to the mass and acceleration times acceleration so the net force we simply add in this and my direction i'm going to use this direction here this direction as negative and that direction as positive so that simply means that here if i'm adding my forces it's going to be tension plus the weight is equal to mass times acceleration and then if i expand this my tension is in the positive direction plus my weight is mg which is equal to m a and my weight here is in the negative direction so that simply means it's going to be negative here hence i can actually do this put negative here and then substitute for my values is going to be the tension minus the mass is 2 kg times 9.8 is equal to the mass is 2 kgs times acceleration so this will be my equation one right and then i'm gonna do the same thing for this one you can see my fax is positive plus the tension plus the frictional force this is kinetic frictional force because the object is accelerating times the mass times acceleration i substitute the values fax remember fax was 9.9 .9 plus the tension we don't have that and the tension is negative negative tension plus the frictional force so the frictional force here now we have to calculate it let me just calculate it here on its own so the frictional force fk will be equal to mu k times the normal which is going to be equal to mu k is 0 0.5 times the normal the one that we calculated previously let me just check what was the answer it was 38.58 so times 38.58 this will give us 19.29 19.29 29 newtons and i substitute in there it's also negative so this is going to be negative here yeah. it's going to be negative 19.29 19.29 is equal to the mass times acceleration the mass is 5 times acceleration that's my equation 2 because i'm going to simplify it's going to be 39.8 minus t is equal to 5a okay so since we want the tension i'm just going to substitute for when i substitute for a one into so this is my equation two if you want you can eliminate t and calculate it calculate the acceleration and then after that you use the you use your acceleration to calculate the tension if you want you can simply substitute straight into this equation okay so we're just gonna add right add one and two it's gonna be this one three nine eight minus so if you add this two just do this so if you add this two if you add this two you're going to see that this because it's negative and this because it's positive they're going 
going to cancel out and you're going to be left out with the other information there so that means that's what i'm going to do so it's simply going to be 3.9 then plus this one it's gonna be minus 19.6 is equal to 5a plus 2a and then this one a okay, so this one is going to give us 20.6 2 is equal to 7a which means that a divided by 7 divided by 7 then a is going to be equal to 2.89 meters per second squared so now after this we just choose one of the equations that we can solve so i'm gonna choose equation 2 so choosing equation 2 it's going to be use another different color just to separate this it's going to be equal to 39.8 minus t is equal to 5 times 2.89 then my tension will be equal to 39.8 8 minus 5.289 then my tension will be equal to times is going to be equal to 25.35 newtons that's our final answer right there okay guys that's the end of the question if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe